All right, so what we're gonna cover here are a few different grip options in regards to how we would put our hands on the club. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with what I like to see if I had the ability to build somebody's grip from a stock standpoint. Now, this being said, not a, a grip is not something that you mandatory have to go by. Over the years, like on tour, We've seen guys with crazy strong grips. We've seen crazy weak grips. We've seen, oh, we've seen uh, cross-handed grips. We've seen double overlaps. Like there are so many different grip options. It more so becomes what works the best in regards for you. So if I went through what I like to see out of a stock grip is if I put my fingers out, if I put my hand out just like this, I would rest my, I would rest the club right here to where the lead side of it is just on the end of where my pinky and my ring finger is on my lead hand. The next thing I would do from there is I would wrap my fingers and I'm then going to be taking the padding and putting that on the top half of the grip and then I'm going to put, be pushing my thumb down. Now one of the big things that I like in regards to an activation system is this muscle right here that we call the brevis muscle. So if you take your thumb and you go this direction and you push that down, that is going to be activating this brevis muscle right here. And then if we look at a direction of where we would have a V in between our index finger and our thumb, there is going to be a V that will be pointed somewhere between our chin and our trail shoulder. So what I like to do is I'll take a T and I put this right in between where my index finger and my thumb is. So when I put my hands on like this, grip that, you'll notice that this T is pointed on this side of my chin. So when I look down, I'd be able to say, all right, this isn't pointed directly down the center of the shaft. This isn't pointed down the, too far on the left side or the lead side of the shaft. And it's not so crazy strong that it's pointed nearly 90 degrees towards my trail side. It's just on where your logo is on your grip. It's just on the trail side for a right-handed golf for the right side of where your grip would be. That is what I like to see out of a stock grip for where I want my lead hand to be placed right there. Now my trail hand, what I like to do is I'll take my right hand, which is my trail hand, I'm gonna run this along the grip down until the lifeline of my right hand can actually cover up my left thumb, my lead thumb. So I'm gonna take this, run this down to here until my thumb is fitting right inside of there, and I then cover, I take this padding right here on my thumb and I would cover up that. So when you look at where my trail hand would be, you cannot see any of where my left thumb is right here. So this would be where I would wanna see this. So now again, with my right hand, this is mostly again in my fingers right here. And the reason why I like things in my fingers versus in my palms from a stock model standpoint is this is where we have security. This is where we can control and we have more feel and control of what the club head is doing. Well, a good way of thinking about it is your fingers, that is where all of your nerve endings are. So wherever your nerve endings are, that is where you have the most feel and the most touch of the object right here that we're holding, which we would call the golf club. So out of a stock grip, again, I'm right here. I start the club there, wrap my fingers. I get this part of the padding on top of the grip. My thumb is pointed just down the trail side of the logo of my glove, and I'm activating this muscle right here that's called my brevis muscle. My right hand, my trail hand then slides down. I take my lifeline and cover up that thumb, and you can also see how close together my fingers right here are sitting. So everything is close together. My right hand as well, you'll be able to notice this, I'm activating this muscle right here from a security standpoint. I don't like seeing a long thumb like this or a long left thumb like that because this leaves quite a bit of space in between where this club has the ability to twist and it has the ability to move more. 
So this is what I would like to see out of a stock grip if I were teaching somebody from day one. Again, this is not a mandatory, this is a stock model. What I would prefer to see if I had the ability to take somebody from scratch and how I would put their hands on the golf club. Hope you enjoyed this video today. Click that link below to subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and click that. The other link I have right there, watch that video on understanding setup for free. Uh, look out for these videos every single Friday coming to you on YouTube. Thanks.